Hi Aquarius, welcome to my channel. My name is Kem. Today Aquarius, you guys got dog spirit. Be loyal to what you love. This is crazy because we have dog spirit, which is probably in terms of love, like one of the best cards you can get. And you have the heart and then you have the home. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. King of Cups energy here. So I could be speaking to a masculine because again, or this could be about a water sign that is masculine. I feel like somebody here wants to meet you. I don't even know if it's, I kind of get like meet you halfway on something. It could have been someone who was blind before and didn't really want to give you that 50%, didn't want to give you that reciprocity, didn't really want to share, you know what I mean? And put, I, I'm getting it's not even that they didn't want to put effort. For some of you, it could be that, but I'm getting it's more of like someone who is indecisive or someone who just didn't know they could give you what, what you deserve, what you want, right? So I feel like with dog spirit, be loyal to what you love. This is them saying to themselves, I kind of get like it's now or never like if I if I want to be with this person I have to do the you know I have to meet them halfway I have to give them you know what they want I, I feel like this is somebody who's like it doesn't matter what has happened in the past when they look at you they can't like help but not give you what you want like they have to give you what you want and I feel like they're trying to figure out how to do that <laughs> so that's what I'm getting I'm getting a masculine energy, but it doesn't have to be, I mean, of actual, I mean, it could be a feminine, right? Let's pull more on this, Aquarius. So yeah, Aquarius. You see here we have a true pair, a king and a queen of cups, but the queen is coming up in reverse, which lets me kind of know that, again, I do get the feeling that this is, this is a relationship that I think, again, I get like a masculine has to decide, like there has to be that, this is the thing, and I'm not an expert on like masculines, I'm not, but I feel like a masculine's mind has to be congruent with like their heart in order to be like successful. I mean, we all have to have like that alignment with our head and our heart, right? Like we have to be like 100%, yes, I wanna go in this direction, my heart is in that direction and my mind wants to go in that direction. So I kind of get this idea that the masculine at one point, their mind was not there. Like their mind and their heart were not in alignment. And I think that's what caused the problem here. You can see here with the Ace of Swords in reverse, this is their mind that I think in the past was like, again, maybe there's somebody who overthinks, but I think that it's just a part of a mass. I mean, it's part of masculine, it's part of feminines. Everybody has to be clear on shit before they jump into a situation. But I feel like for the masculine, it's even more important because, you know, I think a feminine can really like say, oh, I love this person and it might not make any sense, but I'm gonna go for it. I don't feel like a masculine can do that. <laughs> I think the masculine has to have like their mind clear before they go forward. And I feel like we should all be like that, to be honest. I feel like we should all, you know, have that alignment between the mind and the heart before we jump into anything. I, I do believe like that's the way you should do shit. But the reality is like, I feel like for a feminine who's in their emotions, it's a lot easier to say, well, it doesn't make any sense, fuck it, I'm doing it anyway. Whereas for a masculine, I think it's a lot harder. Like it's a lot harder. And I do feel like sword energy is masculine energy. So again, like I feel like this component, it's just more, it's more vital to like the masculine energy. So if, I'm, if, if this is about a masculine who, hasn't made their decision it's because their mind has to be on board with their heart and i feel like their emotions were getting the best of this person like i feel like emotionally like you can see how much cups this person has um for this person like dog spirit i want to be loyal the heart like i mean the heart is coming out and then the king of cups with the house i mean this could be like 
someone who wants the long, long, like a long-term commitment, wants to jump into a higher level of commitment with a person. But the mind has to be there for this masculine. And I feel like before they, you know, <laughs> got into a higher level of commitment and told this person, oh, I want to marry you, I want to get into a relationship with you, whatever the next level of commitment is, they want their mind to be like 100% at ease. So I don't think this is like a toxic person. I don't. I just think this is somebody who, before they make any moves, they have to be sure mentally of what they're doing. You know what I mean? Like they think about things. And again, maybe this person tends to overthink. Like maybe we could look at some of the ways that, you know, this person tends to do things. But it, I'm not getting toxicity. I'm not even getting overthinking. I'm just getting the fact that this person just really wanted to make, to be sure. Do you know what I'm saying? Just really didn't want to like waste anybody's time. And I think that's a really positive thing. So if you could look at it that way, I think it will serve you a lot better than to think like, oh God, like this is just a, a piece of shit uh, person who like, you know, is using me. No, like I don't think, I don't think it was like that. I think that their emotions got the best of them and they were like, wait a second, what are we doing here? <laughs> like, let me catch up here. You can see here that the devil's in reverse. So I feel like this person could have been dealing with, it could be karmics when I see the devil. It could just be um, fear. It could just be ego. Like the devil could be a lot of things. I mean, addictions, you know what I mean? There could be a lot of things that this person was like, wait a second, I have to wrap my head around it because of this. I have to wrap my head around it because of this. What about this? What about that? But the devil's coming up in reverse here, which I like. We're gonna go a little bit deeper into that because I definitely feel like the devil's coming out for a reason. Um, but I definitely see this person, <laughs> I heard vanquishing, like if they're a superhero, but I, I definitely feel this person eliminating this devilish energy. And again, if it's just fear, it's fear. If it's just, um, whatever it is, like they're going to get through it. You see, divine timing's at play here. When it's the right moment, it's the right moment. When, when it, and I think a lot of us, we want this masculine if this is somebody in your life you want them to be sure right now <laughs> you want them to be a hundred percent okay right now you want them to like make that high level commitment make that proposal right now and this card is like just chill out <laughs> chill out this person is going to reveal themselves and i feel like they are going to walk through that door and i feel like they are they are going to give you what they what you want but you have to let them do it in their timing and i don't think it's like um like a egotistic i have to be the one who decides shit and i have to be the one that does the timing no it has nothing to do with that i feel like it has a lot to do with like hey i need my heart i need my mind to be on board with this um <laughs> like i i think you took this person by surprise i think like the love that they feel for you is genuine and real but I don't think they planned on, you know, meeting someone like you. And I don't think they planned on, like, getting into a relationship. Like, maybe this is someone who thought that for the rest of their life they would be a bachelor. Or maybe this is someone who, for the rest of their life, thought that they would... Like, who knows what this person was before this. But I just feel like this isn't something that, like... I feel like this is some, something that just happened. You know what I mean? And now they're, they have to kind of realign their goals, realign everything to, uh, to include this Queen of Cups. That's what I feel like is going on. They have to include this Queen of Cups. And it's like, okay, am I wanting, do I want to include this queen of cups in my life? Like, is that some, is that the route that I wish to take? This is like, honestly, if I would say like out of all the masculines that I've gone and reads, this masculine to me is the most thoughtful. And it's funny because like, you know, the ace of swords is in reverse and I'm saying thoughtful, but the reality is like this person is thoughtful because they're not trying to like use anybody. They're not trying to like lead anybody on. I feel like they just really want to like be sure of shit. So let's clarify now, but that's the vibe I'm getting from this read so far. So I feel like what's actually going on here, what's the devil? I was like, the most important thing I think is the devil. What is this person facing? Is it an addiction? Is it, um, you know, like what is it specifically? I'm getting it's a th it was someone else. So again, I think someone might have resurfaced from their past. This could be like, you know, an ex. This could be anybody, but it was a, it's definitely a soulmate, someone from their past 
who they hadn't been in communication with for a while I feel like this person has resurfaced and I feel like that's why this person is going quiet that's why this person is trying to decide on what to do here because I feel like whether we want to say it or not exes take a, a toll on us especially exes who we have unfinished business with and it kind of seems like this person has unfinished business with their ex again you can say well like an ex an ex will always have unfinished business with you you know what i mean because things you know they break up you break up with an ex and there's always that energy between you and this person i'm getting like that's technically not the case like sometimes think people break up and it's over you know there's no need to like re there's no need to hash shit out. There's no need to talk again. Like, it's done. It's done. I, do, I don't want to see you again. That wasn't the case between this person and their ex. That's what I'm getting. So I feel like this person has a new opportunity with maybe even with their ex as well. Like, I feel like they have a lot of opportunities. I actually don't believe that. I believe that the opportunity is with whoever this Queen of Cups is. That's what the... I feel like that's what the divine is saying to this person. The, the, the opportunity for you to feel stable is with the queen of cups who you're true who you are a true pair with but this is something that like this person has to see for themselves so if an ex comes back into the picture an ex comes in this is something that this person has to see you know what i mean they have to figure out on their own and i feel like that's why they're going silent i feel like that's why they're like not talking if they're not speaking right now if they had to make a decision it's between you and somebody else and i i don't even think it's between you and this past person i feel like what it really comes down to is like this masculine is like can they move on to something new like can they be let's just say you know this is a king and queen of cups they work in this very like beautiful um harmonious like you know my cup is full i want to give you love energy if there's some toxicity within this masculine and they like like this toxic shit, right? And their ex was toxic, let's just say. And, you know, them and their ex have, like, the ex and them have a great time being toxic and doing, like, you know, karmic toxic shit. If there's a part of this masculine that's, like, still into that shit, then they're going to go towards the karmic, okay? If this is somebody who cannot, like, let go of the past and thinks the past was the best time of their life and doesn't want to, like, have any new adventures and just wants to keep going back to the past then this person will choose the karmic. So it really depends on who this masculine is and what they want in their life and what they're trying to like accomplish here. Again, if they think that the best time of their life was with a toxic person or a soulmate from the past, which again, I'm not getting that this person was toxic, but like an ex is an ex for a reason, right? <laughs> shit breaks up with, you break up with someone for a reason. Like again, it doesn't mean they are toxic, but shit didn't work out for a reason, right? You were toxic, they were toxic, somebody was toxic or somebody was like not, putting in the effort or something wasn't working out here and that's why you guys are exes so the fact that an ex is coming back around with the devil kind of tells me again like this could be a karmic this could be a toxic situation and this person it's like deciding in their life like who are you going to be are you going to be like that loving caring person king of cups or do you want to still be involved in like fuck shit you know what i'm saying and that's the reality <laughs> that's the reality like so they have options right and i feel like their heart is in alignment with this queen of cups but their mind their mind doesn't really know what to do here. So I feel like that's, again, why they're taking a pause, why they're choosing, they're taking time to decide on what, what they need to do here. I feel like deep down intuitively with the high priestess, this person knows that like they should not go back, that they should move forward with a new person, that they shouldn't go back to a past person, that there is no opportunity here for them. In reality, like this person doesn't present them with anything but unfinished business, shit from the past, it's always going to come back up. You know, when you when you break up with someone and you see them again and you think everything's going to be different and then you start hanging out with them and you're like, holy shit, why did I even start talking to this person? I don't know if you guys have ever talked to an ex, but you know, you talk to an ex for five minutes and you're like, oh my God, um, it's it's amazing. It's, it's, it's so nice to talk to them. And then you talk to them for like a week and you're like, holy shit, I'm so glad I stopped talking to this person. This person's so toxic, right? Like, <laughs> like I'm, I'm understand why we broke up. I understand why we stopped speaking. Um, that's kind of the vibe that I'm, I'm getting with this person. I feel like they have to kind of see, they have to remind themselves of why they this person is an ex with them. <laughs> they have to remind themselves of why they broke up with this person in the first place. Why they didn't work out with this person to begin with. What, what happened here? You know what I'm saying? I think that's what is actually going on here. So I think you should let this play out because I do see this person making a decision towards the Queen of Cups, but I feel like it has to be after their mind 
is clear on this X. <laughs> and I feel like this X is taking up a lot of space in their mind right now. I don't even think it's in their heart. I think it's in their mind. Because again, I feel like they've let this person go and this is over. This has been over. So the fact that this X is coming up, again, maybe it's just something they have to see for themselves, like in their mind to be clear or something. But I just get that this is, this is definitely... Like again, with Five of Swords and the Page of Wands in reverse, I feel like this person's going to realize, hopefully not too late, but that's the thing. Like they, they have this opportunity with the Queen of Cups, but they also have this opportunity with the X. They might think like the X is coming back for a reason. Like, oh my God, this X is coming to stop me because the reality is that this person has always cared about me. And the reality is that me and, this, me and my X are meant to be together. That's why divine timing is happening here. That's why they're coming up like, you know, at the moment when I'm about to commit to somebody else. The reality is, no, this ex is coming back up in this weird way when, when they're about to like give their heart to somebody else because it's a test. <laughs> it's a test if you truly are finished with a cycle. Are you truly done with the cycle? Are you truly like, do you actually really want to move on? The divine is testing this masculine. Like, do you want to, to go into the new or do you want to stay in the past? And Again, I think this masculine is getting confused because of the timing. It's like, oh my God, this person's showing up. It's such a, it's such a coincidence. You know what I mean? There are no coincidences. It's just such a weird thing for this person to come up at a time when I'm about to move forward. It's such a, you know, oh my God, it must be a sign. No, it's not a sign. It's a test. <laughs> it's a fucking test. Hopefully this masculine is smart enough to see it. They will see it any. They will see it. That's what I'm getting. If you're the queen of cups, I wouldn't stress here. They're going to see it eventually. Five of Swords and the Page of Wands in reverse. This person's going to see that this is a dead end, like, no matter what. You know what I mean? That there was nothing here to begin with. That this was just, like, this was not, a, you know, a gift from the divine. This was a test from the divine. <laughs> and if this person chooses to fail that test, then I don't know how the Queen of Cups is going to feel, to be honest. I feel like the Queen of Cups, I don't know where she stands in all this. I don't know if she knows what's going on. I don't know if she's re are ready to move on. Because it kind of says here with the Ten of Swords. Like there's a doorway opening up, right? And someone's about to take that leap towards the doorway. I kind of thought that this would be the masculine. But again, I am seeing that the masculine is going to realize that this is a dead end. But the re again, and what they're seeing here is a lie. Like they're seeing this as a divine opportunity. Like, so you know, I'm about to like commit to somebody new. I'm about to put my heart out to somebody new. And then my ex comes in. Like what a sign from God. No, it's not a sign. It's not. It's a test. Um, it's a test. So yeah, I, I I see that's the lie here that they don't understand like what's going on. They don't understand like that this is not this is not like a a good. I, I wouldn't say it's good or bad. It is good because it, it shows you what you want. It's like a mirror basically, right? The mirror is showing you who you were in the past or who you who you're going to who you want to become. And you can choose who you were in the past and relive out all this shit from the past, or you can choose who you wish to become. Um, but it's like, you get to choose. You get to choose which path you're going to take. You get to choose who you want to be. And it's, it's like funny because I feel like this ex brings stability to this masculine in the sense of like, you know when you know someone really well and you guys are kind of in sync just because you know each other really well? When you're with a new person, you, don't, you might not know that person that well, so it's like everything's kind of new and everything's a little bit exciting. But... What I feel like feels a little bit like home to this person is the fact that like they know this past person so well. Like them and this past person, you know, it's like I don't have to explain to them why I do this. They know, you know what I mean? I don't have to explain to them any of this shit because they know. And that's like a beautiful thing to have like that relationship with a person where they know you so well. You don't even have to speak sometimes. But the reality here is like this is a karmic. The only person, the only reason they know you so well is because you didn't get out of a karmic situation in the first place. And now you're just lingering, right? So of course, someone who gets, someone who, you know, who knows you for like 10 years, they're going to know a lot about you. And I think that brings stability to this masculine, but it's again, a false, it's a false thing. Like anyone who knows somebody for 10 years is going to know shit about you. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? So again, there's a lot with the ace of swords in reverse here it's like not only the fact that this person thinks that you know first of all they're seeing this as a sign from god or the divine or the universe and in reality it's a test the other thing that they're not seeing really clear right now is the fact that like this person might feel very at home they might feel very at home with this karmic but the reality is that like yeah you will feel at home with anyone you've spent like 10 years with right five years with or however long you've been with this person 
So like that's also like a, de a deception in a sense. Um, and there's just a lot. There's a lot going on. There's a lot. So I would give this masculine a chance. Um, I don't know what I'm telling you. They're going to see that this was a dead end eventually. Like they're going to see it. But I don't know if the feminine will be around. Let's pull on this feminine because I do see them revealing themselves. I do see them taking the next step towards this feminine. But where the hell is this feminine going to be? And how long is that going to take? Because the reality here is like I feel like the feminine, they're not in the picture. They're in reverse. So they're already not here. <laughs> um, and maybe that's a good thing. I, I mean, obviously, that's a good thing. Like you don't want to stick around while somebody has shit to figure out. But I just I just don't know how like I, I don't think this is going to be like something that it shouldn't take that long for this masculine to see. But yeah, let's see what's going to go on with this feminine. I'm not saying to stick around to any feminines. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying like this is what the masculine's up against if you wanted to know. <laughs> and um, I do see them coming back around to you. But yeah, exactly. All this feminine is like seeing is that this person is not taking action towards them. Yeah. And they feel like they've been, they've been strung along. They feel like someone's stringing them along or trying to manipulate them at this point. And I feel like they're just not happy. They're not happy with it at all. Like there's nothing like great about this masculine anymore because it's like oh this masculine can't see my value they can't see that i'm you know they can't see the value that i bring to their life then like why would i want them around i think the reality here you can do whatever you want for the feminine you really can you can do whatever you want but i i am going to say i do see this masculine coming back around to you i do see that so again if you are prepared to reject them because of like the fact that they weren't able to see between the, the ex and you, then that's something that you should like be prepared for. Be prepared for this person coming back though, because a hundred percent they they are going to be come back. I, I see that a hundred percent. What's this five of sword? Like when when is this person? When is this, let's see how long it might take. Like, like I, it's hard to get timing with Carol, but let's just try. How long is this gonna take? Ten of Swords is like 10 days. So I don't, it might not be that long. The Hermit in reverse. Hermit is like Virgo energy. Again, if we're doing this read, I'm doing this read right now and it's April. If this person takes till September, August to figure this shit out, would definitely, I wouldn't, I would, I mean, that's, that's a very long time. I don't think that's what they're trying to say though. I think with the Hermit in reverse, they're trying to say like, once this person is done contemplating, once this person goes within and figures shit out, once this person like has the answer, that's when they'll be back. So again, for everybody, it's like different in timing. That's kind of what I'm getting with the Hermit in reverse. I don't think me doing this in April, this is like, oh, and you know, August, September, that's when the shit's gonna go down. No, I don't think that at all. I actually think it's like when this person's done figuring it out, when this person has the answer. <sighs> Like right now they feel like they don't have the answer so they have to see they have to see everything and they are gonna see they are gonna see but um it sucks for the feminine you know it sucks that the feminine has to be here um just trying to like <laughs> um i i feel like they're just saying to the feminine like detach 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 from the masculine let them do whatever they need to do to figure the shit out um you don't have to get like yeah, I feel like you were headed towards a higher level of commitment. And yeah, I feel like this person was very loyal to you. And yeah, I think they did see, a, you know, you guys getting married and having like a lot of things happen in your life that you want. But I think the reality is like you don't want that with somebody who still has a karmic in their head or still has unfinished business with somebody or who's still getting confused about shit. Like you want this to be cleared out before you guys move together. You know what I'm saying? So um, you could look at it like that. Like this is something that has to be resolved before you two get together. This is something that has to be resolved before you guys end up in a high level of commitment because you don't want to be married to this person and then this, this karmic comes back around and fucks shit up. So I actually kind of think that it, if you look at it through the positives, I think it's better that this happened right now. Like it's better that it happened before you guys went into this high level of commitment because it kind of seems like you were about to get into a higher level of commitment and then this shit happened. And again, it's confusing the masculine. They're taking it as like a sign. The reality is it's not a sign, it's a test. <laughs> so again, if I was the feminine, I would detach and I would be thankful that this shit is happening now. Because let's just say, worst case scenario, this person doesn't choose the feminine. 
the feminine's free to move in a new direction and the divine's protecting this feminine. The divine's gonna be like, okay, we're gonna set some we're gonna set um this feminine up with somebody new. <laughs> you know what I mean? We're gonna set this feminine up with somebody that deserves their time. This person failed. You know what I mean? They went into karmic shit, they went to past shit, and that it is what it is, right? So I feel like the divine's taking care of the feminine no matter what. There's nothing like that the feminine has to do right now. I feel like the feminine detach and just chill out. Like I know it's so hard to detach, but again, if you're that that's the best thing to do. That's the best thing to do because this person is going to figure this out anyway. You know, 10 years from now or tomorrow, that's when this person will definitely figure this out. This is like an inevitable thing. Them and this karmic, you guys know how karmic relationships go. They are very like tumultuous and passionate and they, you know, bring out a lot of like energy in a person, but they're unstable as fuck and they don't lead to anything but toxicity. They don't lead to anything but dead ends. And it's like, if this person needs to see that dead end one more time before they get with you, then let them see it. I'd rather them see it and be clear with this karmic and be rid of this karmic than for them to come near me, us get into a high level of commitment. And then let's just say you guys are dating for like a year and then this karmic comes back in. That's going to be a shit show. I'd rather them do it before they asked you out. I'd rather them do it before you guys got married. You get what I'm saying? This will help bring closure to this karmic thing finally also. It will help bring like, it will help eliminate this person from their life. If that makes sense like you don't want this karmic to be lingering around on the sidelines for the rest of your life as your relationship with them gets better and better as your relationship with them grows you don't want this karmic like looming in the like when will they come back in i don't know i think the divine's actually doing you a favor by letting them come in right now because this person will see what this is see i mean this masculine seems smart they're gonna see they're gonna see it for what it is and then they're gonna go back and again i say they're smart because unfortunately they don't see this as a test they might see this as a like a divine intervention a sign but they will see it they will see the truth you know soon they will see the truth soon with the devil in reverse it's soon so i wouldn't i would not stress if i was this feminine i would not stress let's pull some advice yeah we're, we're at a two of swords this car this this person has to see this is the reality about karmic situations I've never seen this in my life, but like every card that I'm getting is in reverse um, at the bottom of this deck, which is telling me like if this person plays out the time with the karmic and they don't, you know, they never come back, they stay with the karmic, they are not going to be happy. Like their life is going to be, you know, it, it's not going to be great. You know what I mean? It's not going to be, it's going to be toxic. It's going to be, what is a karmic? It's toxic shit. It's past shit that you're supposed to have like finished. And you're supposed to be done with and like if this person goes back into that cycle with this person they're not going to be happy but the reality here is like they have to see it for themselves and I, again sometimes you have to see things many times to get the hint i mean how many times have we had to repeat cycles you feel me i'm hoping that this won't be a repeat of a cycle i'm hoping this is just a brief like um like interlude i'd say <laughs> but i mean we we're, we can't be for sure for all of you you know what i mean i can't be for sure it's for all of you that it's gonna be like tomorrow or next week, okay? But if you're the feminine, just attached for now. Yeah, you see, this person got the river in reverse, or you guys have the river in reverse. I feel like it can be for both of you. Like, what, like for the feminine, I feel like the emotions right now are not great. You know, <laughs> there can be a flooding of emotions and it feels pretty shitty to be in this situation. And the fact that this person puts you in this situation and the fact that they don't. And again, I don't think that it's because they're inconsiderate. I really don't think it's because they're like a piece of shit that's t that's toxic. No, I really think that there's a test going on in their life and they don't know. They don't know that. You know what I mean? Like we know that, but they don't know that. And for them, I feel like the river is coming up because this all this this upright talks about a current. It's a stream. It's a river, right? It's a flow. They're going against the current right now. They're like again, they're going backwards. They're going against the current. That's not the way that they're supposed to be headed. Everyone knows that. Everyone can see that. But what you have to understand is like they don't see that. <laughs> they don't understand that right now. That's something that they don't get. So. <sighs> It's, it's a shitty situation if you're the feminine to be in. I get it. Like, it's not convenient. It's not fun. It's not, it doesn't seem fair. But the reality is that 
this is something that they have to see for themselves this is something that they have to understand like once it's like when you're in the river and you it's like they're gonna have this moment of realization that's what i'm getting they're gonna have this moment of clarity they're gonna have this moment of like what the fuck am i doing hopefully it will not be too late i i, I would, would hope it's not too late you guys have beautiful energy here you have beautiful energy between the two of you um and it's just it, again it, it's it's very beautiful but at the same time they're going the, no, the wrong way you're going down the river and they're fighting against the current so they can they can eventually meet you at the bottom but right now they're just kind of standing there fighting against it and it's kind of funny if you think of it that way like somebody just walking up a, a current like swimming against the current like trying to you know a, a picture a current that's going like really hard too like picture somebody trying to go up against like a current that's going like 50 miles per hour i don't know how fast rivers go 20 miles per hour 10 miles even 10 miles per hour that's like a fast current for a person to swim against so it's like why the hell would would you try to fight it you should just go with it but that's what this person is trying to do right now and again we can see that energetically because we're here on this channel like we're here in this energy like reads like we understand it but they don't to somebody who doesn't understand energy they don't see that <laughs> they don't get it um, and I've been there myself where like, you know, someone, you have a dream about somebody, you have someone text you and you're like, oh my God, the timing of this person, it's so weird. Like it's a cool, you know, it's, it's gotta be divine. No, it's a test most of the time. Trust me. <laughs> and I feel like you guys understand that. So, I mean, all we can do right now is laugh at this person who's trying to go against the current because that's literally what they're doing. It says that the river washes away what is no longer necessary, smoothing over sharp edges and accepting all our mistakes and grievances exactly it's like <laughs> it's so funny the river's trying to take them so badly and they're just again it's like literally like this chariot like they're supposed to be riding the waves towards you and they're fighting it right now like they're literally in reverse so godspeed like good luck to them right like they're not going to get far obviously we know they're not going to get to the top of the, to the beginning of the river they're never going to get there so let them keep like they're going to be fighting there for a while i don't know how long I, I, the time they're just like, when this person figures it out, they figure it out, which is not really helpful for us in the 3D, but it is what it is. I feel like Isis came up, the goddess of magic, sexual energy is sacred, my pleasure is a prayer that brings me back to life. I think this is coming up because I do feel like you and this person, you bring each other back to life. Like you, you help this person and they help you. I feel like this person breathes life into you and you breathe life into them so right now what's interesting is like they're 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 riding on a high right but it's it's because of a high that this queen of cups gave them right so it's like let's just say for example this masculine is riding on this high right this masculine is like they're so happy they're on this high and then they see this karmic they're riding on this high you know what i mean they're 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 so happy and they're bringing that happy energy to this karmic. The energy that doesn't really belong to the karmic, the karmic didn't bring that happy energy to them. This queen of cups did <laughs> by giving their cup to this masculine. So it's just funny to me because now they're riding on a high and this karmic isn't going to give them shit. And this karmic isn't going to give them the breath of life. This karmic isn't going to give them anything. So I keep laughing because it's like the 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 pictures that i'm seeing of this masculine are just so funny to me like they got their energy back for life for living life like their lust for life everything is coming back to them because the queen of cup gave a fuck because the queen of cup gave them their cup you know what i mean and then this masculine's riding this high sees the karmic and stops for a little bit right and it's so dumb because like they're gonna start to deplete an energy the karmic's just gonna take energy like you know karmics are usually narcissists or like you know uh people who take energy you know they're not gonna give anything back they're not queen of cups you know what i'm saying they i don't even think this person gives a fuck do you know what i'm saying this person could just be coming in for you know some fuck shit or like oh like maybe they want to use this masculine who knows why this feminine is coming back in maybe they just don't give a fuck about anybody but themselves they're just coming in to like have a good time and leave but what's what's gonna happen this masculine is gonna get depleted of energy again and then it's just so funny to me because then they're gonna be like where did i why was i so i was so high before like why did i like decide to leave this feminine behind i just see this person is going to be in for a very rude awakening when all this shit is over um yeah but i do feel like this is a dual message like 
if you breathe breathe life into this masculine then they breathe life into you and you can still remain with that energy flowing like you don't have to stop it now that they kind of are doing whatever the fuck they're doing confused and lost and trying to figure shit out that doesn't mean that you have to be depleted of the energy you know what i mean that doesn't mean that you have to take the what they gave you and like keep running with it basically keep running with it the karmic's going to take all of the energy from the masculine they're going to be left depleted but that doesn't mean you have to be depleted okay it does not mean that you don't, you have to let them this energy affect you the fact that this person is not here like don't let it affect you guys i know that's so easy to say but the reality is like <laughs> i know you see what's going on and there's no reason to stop riding the high you know what i mean whereas this person they're going to get depleted by the karmic 100 percent and then they're gonna be like, what the fuck happens here? Um, and I just see, I wanna pull a little more. I just don't understand like, is there anything else on like when this ma masculine chooses this door? Or anything else on his masculine choosing his door. Ugh, for a lot of you, they're not gonna know. They're not gonna know until it's like, you know, after the fact. Like they'll know that this was wrong after this person leaves them empty, after this person uses them, after this person takes whatever they want from them. And, and then they'll probably truly learn the lesson, which is a great thing, like they'll finally learn it. But what does that mean for the feminine? You know, what does that mean for this Queen of Cups? What do they want the Queen of Cups to do right now? Kind of seems like this person has to learn it the hard way. They just, I feel like saying you're the empress, like don't let them affect your energy because I feel like they're putting work into something that has, of, it makes no sense. It's the dumbest thing ever. Everyone can see it. It's stupid. Anyone that's telling this masculine that they're doing a great job or that they're, you know, they're doing, you know, they're, they're on the right path is a liar. It's not a friend. And who knows how many people around this masculine are in this devil energy. Like it might not just be a karmic. It could be like the friends they hang out with. It could be like family members. Who knows? But all I'm getting here is like, as they put work into a lie, you're here, very stable. Queen of coins with the empress. Again, you guys came up as a true pair twice. So you came up as a true pair as king and queen of cups. Actually, three times. King and queen of cups, king and queen of pentacles, and empress and emperor. They will eventually turn the wheel on this karmic. Obviously, I'm telling you, it's, it's something that will uh, happen 100% of the time. But will they have to see this maybe the hard way? Yes, unfortunately. Okay? Just keep doing you, feminines. Just keep... Just keep doing you. Let's get an angel answer for the feminines. I mean, I'm sorry, but I'm just like, feel like you guys need, if anyone needs assistance right now, yeah, you could say it's the it's the masculine, but they're gonna learn this lesson no matter what. So what does the feminine need to know? Cause like, this kind of sucks for the feminine, you know? Like at the end of the day, it stinks for the feminine. It's not fun, it's not, it's, it isn't. Again, it's a blessing that this happened before you guys got into a real relationship, but at the same time, it sucks. Like, yes, I see the divine's plan here, which is like, yeah, now, you know, when you guys do get into a relationship, this karmic will not exist. This karmic will be gone. The lesson will be learned and they can fully go into this beautiful relationship with the queen of cups. That's great. 100% a beautiful plan, divine. But in the 3D, um, <laughs> like it's shit doesn't like necessarily plan out like that. The feminine might meet somebody new. The feminine might get really depressed. The feminine, a lot of shit can go down. That's why I feel like they're saying like, don't get depressed, don't get down. Don't, don't like change your energy because I feel like there's a bigger plan at play here, at least according to the divine, but <laughs> I mean, it doesn't seem necessarily fair. They're saying like they're trying to give you the best out possible outcome, but yeah, friendship and union. That's what I'm saying. I think they have like a bigger plan for the two of you guys. Yeah, to be compassionate towards them, to the masculine towards what they're trying to learn, the fact that the divine's trying to set this up for you. I mean, it's a lot, it's a lot. 
I feel like this is them trying to say, like, they're trying to put you guys together permanently, but, like, you can't be permanent with this karmic here. So they're trying to, you know, fix shit for you. Um, and you don't even get it. Like, you don't even know that, but that's what they're trying to do. So, again, take it as you want, Aquarius. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I love you guys. I hope this helps. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.